I'm Rob. And I'm Matt. And this is the review for Just In Time Incorporated by Barefoot Gaming. So Second Wind Interactive sent us a key for this game so we could try it out. Mm -hmm. And here's the review. Matthew, what is the concept of the game? It's kind of a puzzle game where you have to save people's lives or get them from point A to point B without them dying. Yeah, I think that kind of covers it. It's You're working for an insurance company, people have an insurance policy out to not die and it's your job to do so. And yeah. you do so by slowing down time, which mm -hmm. you wear gloves the entire time. Right. Before you put the gloves on, you have arms. After you put the gloves on, you only have hands. I don't know. <laughs> They're very powerful gloves in that manner. <laughs> yes. You lose your arms. <laughs> So it's not like super hot in the sense that for when you move, time slows down. Time is just always slow. Everything mm -hmm. around you, as soon as you start the game, everything goes slow. And we're going to be very careful to not show you solutions to any of the puzzles in the mm -hmm. videos that you're seeing over playing on top of this. Yep. But let's give some examples of some of the things that it asks of you. So there's this clown on a roof that has to sign his insurance before he dies. And you basically have to get him to sign it before he jumps off the roof and complete it that way. I guess without giving too many spoilers, that's as much as I can really say into it. <laughs> so let's give some more examples. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the whole thing is spoilers. Like, the level is only so long. It's pretty tricky. Okay, so that's maybe a poor example because that one is a very short issue. Another mission would be Lumberjacks. The lumberjacks, you have to protect them from falling trees coming down on them. So you have to make sure that they don't die. And it's always more complicated than what mm -hmm. we're describing, right? So for example, with the lumberjacks, there's blades moving around. There's always a bunch of things happening mm -hmm. at once and you have to figure out where you're going to be. Luckily, your gloves will stop bullets, redirect rockets. They're quite, quite powerful. Yes. <laughs> it, it's hard to give so many examples without spoiling the game for you guys. Because we want you to be able to experience it to its fullest. And if we say certain examples, then you're not going to necessarily experience it the best way you can. Yeah, we want it to be a surprise as you go in. Yeah. The price of this game is $19.99 US. Mm -hmm. Usually we rate it in uh, Canadian funds. Yeah. We can't this time because the game is only coming out on the day that we're releasing this and right. we're recording this ahead of time, right? Right. So at $19.99, how many clowns jumping off a building out of five would you give this? And why, Matthew? It's tough. I mean... The price of the game really f reflects the score that I'm about to give it. I'd only give it about a two and a half because there's only worth really an hour of gameplay and I played through every single level and I mean there were some levels that took me five minutes to get through but yeah there's not much extra in the game so yeah two and a half stars is the most I could give it, I'm sorry. So No, you, you don't have any reason to be sorry. <laughs> we're going to be honest and we told the developers that ahead of time. Super nice guys, so you're giving it basically a 50% out yeah. of five, right? I'm really struggling on this one too, because the game is fun. The first time I picked it up, I played it all the way through. I played every single mission from beginning to end, including all the bonus missions. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that was really fun. Right. And it was an hour. Mm -hmm. And I was like, crud, I need more for how much I'm spending. And because I can't really go back into it to replay them to get different results, mm -hmm. I mean, I tried. Like with, with a couple of them, I went back in and tried different ways, because there's not only one way to beat any given mission, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really add much in the replayability factor. Right. However, the guys behind this are actually working on releasing something that will give you more options, uh, replayable levels, and possibly more levels depending on how well the game sells. Mm -hmm. That being the case, as it stands at $19.99 US, 10% off the first week, I can't give it more than a 3. So it's fun, I'm giving it more than 50%, <laughs> but I'm really struggling. I find the graphics to be cute. I think it's lots of fun. Mm -hmm. It's just really short. Yeah, it has that Minecraft-esque vibe to it where everything is blocky, so it's not like we can really fault it for graphics or anything like that because there's nothing wrong with it in that way. No. I just wish there was a little bit more to the game that you could play a little bit through with it more because after that hour of play, even like the first, the easy and medium levels, I almost didn't want to keep going because it wasn't giving me as much as I wanted to. Once I hit the hard levels, there was much more that I could experience with the game, but it was I had to push through a little bit on those easy and medium levels to get to the better experience in the hard levels. Yeah, and at the end they reward you with showing you some of like the beta levels mm -hmm. or some of the stuff that they had done to develop it. And it's cool to see where the game came from to yeah. where it got to now. Yeah. Like I s I'm gonna keep saying it. The game is really fun. Mm -hmm. I had lots of fun playing the game for an hour. 
That's my only hang up. So hopefully these patches are going to add longevity. Yeah. Plus, I love to see people support small studios. This is made by two guys. Yeah. The last thing I want to say about this is it does require a fair amount of room scale. So minimum is two meters by one and a half meters. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many feet that is. We work at everything in feet, but I know that it actually requires a fair amount of space to move around. You're not going to do this one just standing in one spot. You're not going to do this one sitting room scale and you need some room. I think that's it. <laughs> We're done the review. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave comments. Let us know if there are specific games. We can't promise that we'll review the games you're asking, but we have a lot to go through, mm -hmm. right? So that's it. Thank you so much. Subscribe. We'll talk to you again real soon. See ya. See ya.